So since the last fake emulator video I made, this uh, really high effort uh, clone of RPCS3 has come up and reared its ugly head. And this is yet another one of those formulaic download a file in order to make the emulator work, but you have to go through a fucking survey first kind of deal. But I wanted to cover this one because it's particularly high effort. The guys put a lot of effort, whoever made this, in making it look as real as possible. So it looks almost exactly the same as RPCS3's website. It's got the same layout. He's got the same markety stuff happening here, except it's all in broken English. Even this like collage section down here is more or less the same. Uh, he knows what he's doing. This disclaimer is funny. He says the main objective of this project is to enhance the gaming experience, research and provide education about the core concepts of device emulation. Yeah, he's trying to make himself sound fucking ethical, but uh, achieves the opposite. So this guy has a whole compatibility chart. The compatibility chart shows no proof of whether these games actually run or not. Because on RPCS3's website, it'll tell you like, it'll give you like some footage or a specific pull request that made the game work. There's just nothing here, it just says playable and bugs. He's got a video section here, which is kind of revealing. I like this, uh, this Bloodborne video is pretty funny because the video is in 1080p 60 FPS. And if you look at this guy's desktop, it's quite sharp. The text around the desktop is like really crisp. But then when this emulator opens, let me just skip ahead. The footage is really low bitrate and not at all 1080p. It's more like 720p. And this is basically how these emulators work, is they are some kind of .NET GUI that doesn't do anything with a built-in media player. If you drop an MP4 file into the, the same location as the executable for the emulator, it'll launch. And when you go through a certain combination of like menus to start the game, so to speak, it'll just play an MP4 file. So going back, so there was no movement really at all right here. And yet this text is really crisp. But this is just a mess of gray in the background with this super high fucking footage compression happening over here. Even the text inside the emulator is not very crisp. None of the lines are crisp. Everything is really just compressed and soft. That's essentially what this emulator does is it just plays an MP4. So the screenshots this guy has here may as well just be like press screenshots with a toolbar added to the top to make it look like it's running in a window. But you know, some of these are just taken straight from websites. Like this one came from some forum somewhere. Resetera.com. Yeah, this is just a this is just a screenshot somebody posts on a forum. This guy's got a pretty extensive FAQ to make it sound like like he knows what he's talking about. And then there's this one at the end says why this website has advertisement and surveys to support the development of this project. You may see advertisement and surveys provided by third parties like AdSense. You know, if he was trying to copy RPCS3 so much, why not just set up a fucking Patreon as well? Jesus Christ. This dude has like a half ass blog and there's a specific one here. It's called Pro fucking progress report. Like, using the same graphic from the video that I made before from another fucking fake emulator. Now, all of these popular emulators like Dolphin, RPCS3, uh, Citra, Cmu, will make a progress report for basically a month. And this guy has followed in the footsteps of those and decided to do it himself. Now, this one's interesting because it's just like ripping off of a an old blog post that Dolphin made a while ago about how they were experimenting with a DirectX 12 backend and it ended up being too difficult to maintain. So they ended up removing it. And this dude is doing the same thing, except it doesn't make any fucking sense. 
Among, among PCSX4 1.3's subject features was a brand new D3DX12 backend, but as of 1.33774, we have decided to remove it. What we should learn from the D3D11 after sales helped us make that decision. What fucking sales? It's free, isn't it? Or supposedly free. Just like D3D11 experienced some more, some core flaws that we let slide under guarantees that it would continue to be managed and fixed up. This guy's like looking in a dictionary, just finding random words and putting them on a fucking blog post. So the other thing that is quite concerning about this, uh, this scam is that he has a GitHub and it's a whole like GitHub project. None of the repositories under this project actually have anything to do with like emulation at all. For some reason he's forked Ogre. And Ogre is, it's a, it's a 3D engine. It's not, it's not a 3D backend or like a renderer. It's just a 3D engine. And he, and he talks about, he talks about taking advantage of Ogre in the Vulkan API. But Ogre is used on the PS4, but it's, it's a 3D rendering engine. It's not a 3D rendering backend per se, because it still relies on OpenGL, Vulkan, and Direct3D. So it just doesn't make any sense that he would even include that. There's one called GCN Plugin, which kind of inadvertently exposes who made this whole scam. Because this is a fork of an existing fork, which is forked from someone named Zamil220, who presumably is the person behind this whole scam. He says, flexible PCSX4 3D engine written in C++, designed to make it easier, more intuitive for developers to produce games. I thought it was an emulator, not a fucking dev kit. This is just the description taken from the Ogre GitHub repository. He just replaced Ogre with PCSX4 and called it a fucking day. Really high effort scam happening here. So the main scam is that you download the thing. It takes you to this download page that has these pretty convincing looking details. I mean, it's got a hash, it's got a version name. It says when it was last updated, except this is always updated the day you're looking at this. It's always up to date according to this website, but the version number never changes. So cool versioning system you got. You click on download, takes you to a download page. You click download and it comes up with these offers. And these are these really like intrusive surveys in which they make you prove who you are, verify your identity in order to fucking whatever the hell it is they want you to download. Usually it's an app or a game or something just to steal your personal info. It's even more of a scam, this one, because at one point you were actually able to download this by looking at the JavaScript in the page. This dude was smart enough to reverse engineer the fucking JavaScript to find the actual place where the file is located after you finish the survey, but not smart enough to realize that the thing is a a scam. So if you look at this page now, you can't do the same trick. The company that provides these surveys is called CPA Build, and it's one of these scummy fucking marketing companies that uh, will give you money in exchange for putting offers on websites. So you get paid a cut of what they make off of selling people's personal info. But if you look in this file structure, there's a like the main JavaScript file here. And if you look at uh, redirect, the link itself after completing one of these surveys is hidden in this JavaScript file. But when you finish it, the redirect URL after completing one or two of these surveys is the same page that you completed it on. So you finish the survey, the page refreshes and it brings you back to this page. So you can't actually download it anymore. It's just not possible. So this dude, graciously uploaded the fucking file and I was able to take a look at how this thing actually works. So this is what it looks like. It, it's a setup file and a, a 7z archive. Now you can open this in 7-zip, but everything's encrypted. So if I were to take this out, it would want a password and I still haven't figured out what this is, and nor, nor do I really care because the thing's just not gonna work anyway. It's not really worth looking, looking into. 
but the setup is even scummier because it looks pretty legit. You click on next, you click on, you, you accept to the fucking GNU license agreement for some reason, ask you where to install it, click on next. These buttons don't do anything. And then it says, oh, well, it's encrypted to avoid illegal activities. Ooh. Get the decryption key. Now, you may have guessed already, yet another survey to get your decryption key. What do you fucking do? Turns out the decryption key is one, two, three, four. Thanks for doing us all a favor. And then it'll say, yep, do this, continue the setup, and then it asks you for a sample.zip. The package you're trying to install requires the file is not available. Okay. Uh, this comes with the package. So you click on this and you click on OK. Continues and it says, okay, well now PCSX4.msi is missing. So that's nowhere to be fucking found at all. But I thought back to the last emulator I did was basically just the, bi the same BIOS file renamed to something else. So I thought if I make a copy of this and call it PCSX4.msi, surely it would accept it. Now it does accept it, but fails automatically. It just says this no matter what to do. So the whole emulator is unobtainium. You just cannot get to it. There's no way of accessing it. Even if you go through all the fucking surveys the guy makes you go through, you can't get the thing to work because the installer fails on purpose. So the other aspect of the scam is that if you were to theoretically get to the emulator at some point where you can click around the actual program, it wants you to extract a thing called a PDIX, which is supposedly a PlayStation identifier file. Now I've looked around like the GitHub repository for fail overflow, uh, the nucleus and orbital emulator GitHub repositories, and I can't find anything that tells me what a PDIX file does. But clicking on this is supposed to be like an exploit you run in the browser on the PS4 in order to get the file so you can then run the emulator. It's like a new twist on the whole, well, you need a BIOS, so we weren't, we're not going to let you use the emulator until you get the specific thing. So you click on Extract PDIX and it takes you to this page which loads this stuff and then says, yeah, it wasn't able to work, it just failed. Well, looking at this, there's nothing that this page can run to actually pull off an exploit because it's just HTML. This is the entire page. It's not referencing anything. It's not loading anything. If I try and look at the network, there's nothing in here apart from the fucking fav icon and this HTML. There's nothing to load to like deploy an exploit because the thing is just, it's just HTML. It, it, this doesn't do anything. So that's yet another aspect of the scam where you, you just hit a roadblock and you can't go any further. This folder, this file, this file doesn't exist. The folder that belongs in doesn't exist, nor does the folder that belongs in exist. And then you get to the root folder and you're back at home. So you're fucked again. So as of making this video, there is a real PlayStation 4 emulator, but it's in really the, like the early stages of development. It's got so far as to launch the uh, PS4 safe mode screen. And the emulator works via virtualization with uh, QEMU and Intel Haxon. And it does have a Patreon if you want to throw some money his way to actively work on the thing to make it happen. Because RPCS3 has made leaps and bounds ever since they put their Patreon page up. And you can play games from start to finish with RPCS3 these days. He has a talk about how he's developing the emulator from the last C conference. 
this is a pretty good talk, even if it is short and rushed, but it's, uh, it gives you a quick overview of the technology he's using to make the simulator work. And it's no bullshit. The thing is actually booting to PS4 firmware. It's booted the kernel and it's actually outputting some graphics. Not 3D graphics, but like 2D graphics, 2D menu graphics at like 2 FPS. It's still really early in development, but this is the only PS4 emulator effort so far. Anything else as of right now just isn't fucking real. I've gotten some comments that say, yeah, no fucking shit, there's not a real PS4 emulator. You have to be a retard. But people just don't know this stuff. They're not that technically inclined to know what's, what a real PS4 emulator is and what isn't. Even if you do come across something that looks too good to be true, check out the emulation Game Tech Wiki. This is one of the more up-to-date and reputable wikis for emulation software there is. It does say PS4 and Xbox One here, but it does specify that there aren't any emulators that are available for this console and any that, cl that claim that they do emulate Xbox Ones are scams. So that's great. And it even says it here. There are currently no emulators for this console that can run commercial games. So as a bonus, I was curious to see whether anyone was actually faking PS5 emulators because there was some talk of Sony revealing kind of the specs of the PS5 recently. And lo and behold, there are like five or six of them out there. There's this fucking guy who is verified on YouTube. This cunt is verified. And he launches into some Fortnite shit. He, he speak, he's talking in Hindi, presumably. And basically what this scam is, is it's... Is it like take a bunch of links, go to these different websites, look at the ads, and it sends people on a just a really roundabout fucking wild goose chase so that so that this guy can make ad revenue and all the people viewing his site. And then this is even worse because he's like saying, you know, get get subscribed and click the notification bell do all of this shit and then you'll get the fucking APK file for your fucking PS5 emulator on Android of all things. You get to this dude's site and he's got fucking ads like this just all over the goddamn place and then it says all right how to unlock click the download link click the download link what's this URL this is click the banner ad and then copy the ad URL click download <laughs> then paste the ad URL following the instructions and you can download. Yeah, click on some porn for me and then you can get your fucking PS5 emulator on your phone. This absolute cunt has 200,000 subscribers and all he does is make scam videos. PS4 emulator on Android, Apex Legends on Android, Xbox One on Android. This, this prick is just nothing but scams that that tell you to go to his fucking website <laughs> take you to a bunch of these links just so we can get traffic on his site to get a bunch of ad revenue from his adsense ads and we'll just take take you to a page that doesn't exist on the vast majority of these posts This shit just pisses me off. I really fucking dislike this stuff. This guy needs to be shot at dawn as far as I know. He's just exploiting kids into giving him fucking ad revenue while he plays his fucking absolute scams.